Good afternoon. What we're showing is the closing bell. We have the Bellwether Apple computer, which is set to release its quarterly earnings any moment. Right now, we can see here on this one-minute chart, or five-minute chart, in the last 15 minutes, people were piling into it. So we'll update everybody as soon as we get that knee-jerk reaction. Currently trading at 530. Bid and ask range is right here. This is a five-minute chart. We'll put it on a one-minute so that people can see here what that volatility in after hours is going to be. We do have limit orders out to buy this name right here at uh, 501.6, 60 pennies. Currently trading at right now before they release the report, 529.15 by 530.23. Here we go. I have Prince hitting 540 on Apple. There's that bid and ask. Now it's right back there. I got 537. I got a 541. I got a 540. I'm going to get those numbers. But here it is live MMT. We hit that high right up there at 541. We must keep this going above 550. There is that big pop. I'm looking for numbers right now. I haven't got him. I'm looking for him. 826 versus 794. 37.5 billion versus 36.37 billion. And there's going to be more numbers. Apple sees Q1 revs of 55 to 58 versus 55.73. So that guidance is not bad. It's not what I would want to see. You can see how that, as soon as that guidance came out, you can see how we dropped right from 542, damn it, right down here to 525. Just that freaking quick. Apple reports 14.1 million iPads sold in Q4 because that's what they did. All right. Estimates. We knew they were going to be a little bit weak. Estimates were 14.5. Here we are. We had a great pop and then all of a sudden we're down to $520 and we got to find out more about the report. They see gross margins 37%. Versus the street estimates of 36.9 percent, and guidance at the high end of 36 to 37 percent. Apple reports 4.6 million Macs sold in Q4. Street estimates were for 4.5. So once again, the guidance is up toward the high end of the range, and they're tanking the stock from 542. So they beat across the revenue channels. That is true. We can finally say that we hit $503 down here at the bottom. That's 40 points off of the spike of 542 right here. Now printing at 513. So it's got some support down here. The quarterly earnings are not bad in our view. Here we are in after hours. Uh, what I have right here, and I'm featuring a $510 call on Apple that expires. It's a January regular. So the, these calls were up here, you know, close to, well, they were $37. So this could be a fantastic thing that could happen for us here is that they steal the premium all the way down here. 16, between 14 and $16. And what I mean by steal the premium is that there isn't any bids there and the premiums drop lower. We buy 30 of those contracts, they're coming right back up to these highs over time. There was nothing wrong with the report. There'll be a tremendous amount of, of upgrades on it. Um, you're going to have a lot of people defending it. Because why are they going to defend it? They did okay and the margins that they already had disclosed what they were this is not old news okay and with the new product lines coming out such as the TV that they're coming out with and a couple other things they're working on um, and what can be uh, the, the amount of phones that can be sold in India alone and the Chinese it's about the pricing structure all it takes is an announcement that that China mobile deal is going to come together 
and you will have a big move. But nonetheless, we're buying the dips. I'm featuring the $510 call. This is what where it closed up here at the highs. Um, the ones that we bought was the 550 call, uh, 15. These were 11,000 of these traded. So in order to come out of this, a winner is that this will trade back down there and we can steal the $510 call. They're going to sell an awful lot of, of uh, the new iPads. Everyone's talking about that when they had their preview over there in California. So people really like the product. So they're going to do gangbuster sales and we'll have lots of forward announcements. So there is a, another side to this trade. And as long as it stays down, we will be able to come in here and steal this call that was up here. And, and a lot of people loaned it. The open interest on that one alone was uh, extremely high. Um, the open interest on that particular contract that I'm talking about, remember it's a January one was 7,700. Today's volume is, is that people were still buying, 713 of them. So there was a lot of open interest across the board. The one that had a lot of uh, the 525 call, which I will show here, this 525 call, which was up here at $29, this is another trade that will gap down. And if we could get, and remember, this is before the fact, but if we could get orders down here between six and seven and a half dollars on, let's say, 40 contracts, they're going to trade back up here to 16. So there are a lot of opportunities in those January contracts. Just to give you an idea today that they were in the money ones, I will show you the volume that they traded today on those. There was 3,100 of them bought going into the earnings report. So there are a lot of lot of great trades on that January uh, contract in Apple. So we can clearly see that Apple is trading right back down here to 514. Let us not forget that on the 60-minute chart, we spiked to 542. We got down to 503. And the, the, so this is a 60-minute bar from the earnings release. And we'll go back to a one-minute after-hours chart down here at 514. So we're going to buy and steal the contracts. And what I mean by that word is when they steal the premium, we're buying it. 